Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm going to talk to you about the skill of being elusive and effective positioning. Now, right off the bat, I'll say that it's not necessarily something I can teach specifically, but what I can do is provide you with demonstration footage, give you some key pointers, and suggest a way in which you can practice, or at least gauge how good or bad you are at being elusive and positioning yourself properly. So the footage I have here is me playing Conquest on Giant Shadow, which is one of the more open maps on Battlefield 1 and tends to be full of medics, scouts, and LMGs lying down in the distance. And I'm then using the machine and pistola. That seems like a terrible combination, right? Well, that's because it is. The important thing to note is that I came out of this match third on my team with 27 kills, a 3kd, and a place on the highlight board for achieving 10 flag caps. And this isn't because I'm a robot with perfect aim and lightning fast reactions. Not at all. It's because of my positioning and my skills of being elusive. And the fact that the opposition players didn't necessarily have these skills or at least not at the same level. It's about knowing where cover is at all times in order to escape from enemy fire or to get off a reload. It's about knowing sight lines because if you can break line of sight with your enemy they can't shoot you anymore. It's about knowing how to approach the enemy and how to close gaps and putting yourself in this sort of disadvantageous situation literally forces you to do that. If I'd selected a Ribeirales or a Farquhar Hill or whatever else would I have done better? Yes absolutely but would I have had to constantly consider all the things I just listed. No, at least not to the same extent. And so that's why I recommend you give this a go if you want to improve or find out where your strengths and weaknesses lie. Get out of your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be giant shadow and it doesn't have to be the machine and pistola. You can use any specifically short range designed weapon on a big map or a long range weapon on a close quarters map. This way you will have to play to your weapon strengths, you'll have to position yourself well and you'll have to be elusive. And you needn't dread doing it. It's not about doing well or or doing badly. It's about gauging where you're at and how you can improve. It doesn't make you a bad player if you don't do well. You aren't supposed to do well when you use the literal opposite weapon you should be for your scenario. It's about testing yourself and expanding your skill set so you can be an even better player and enjoy the game even more. So if you're going to do this, I suggest you focus on these things. 1. Always think about where your weapon will excel and where it will fail. 2. Always know where your next piece of cover is. 3. Don't be predictable. Use flanks, use cover, use broken sight lines. And 4. Be positive and have fun. I hope this helps some of you out. I get comments every now and again referencing my positioning or how I stay alive for so long or escape from certain situations and this is the best I can do to try to share the knowledge. Let me know in the comments if you have any more suggestions to improve other people's game. Now we need to quickly shoot over to the Board of Awesome to show our respect to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. They're allowing me to make this much content content and it means so very much, so thank you to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome then the link to the Patreon page is in the description below and in my pinned comment where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm Git Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters.